Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Welcome back to Three's Company. Quite a performance that was from Matty Hayden that we just saw, 181. But it's time to shift gears now and go and ask Matthew Hayden about his favourite teammate. Uh, I think still, still my, one of my favourites is Steve Waugh's 100, though. Um, Sydney, where it was just, you know, it was just a Cinderella story of the, of the decade, if not cent uh, century, where... You know, he's playing England, potentially his last game, um, really under the pressure, and comes out and pulls that 100 off. It was an amazing day. Well, Matthew Hayden called it the Cinderella story of the decade. Well, I'd have to agree with him. The only difference is, in this case, there were no wicked stepsisters, only from Steve Waugh, some wicked stroke play. Stephen Waugh is at the crease for Australia. The Australian captain, hugely experienced, 36 years of age, 136 matches, 35 runs away from 9,000 runs, average over 50. Three. Just nudged away on the leg side. He'll look to get three here. Yeah. Yeah. And will get three. Because he gets uh, right across in front of off stump, Steve Waugh, Anything that's uh, then on the stumps, you can get away on the leg side. Look at that. That's top of middle and off. It's going over the top of middle and off, but pushed away onto the leg side. That's the way War plays. Well, that's well played. Just worked away. It's timed it well. It's four runs for Steve War. Not a bad shot, that. Good man. It's uh, not been in the crease that long. All timing. He's a fantastic player. But that's uh, just timing. All those years of experience, timing. Flashed away. <laughs> Steve Waugh is so good at just uh, picking up the loose ball. There was just that little bit of width. And he was right into it. It's all along the ground. Oh, cracking shot. Darren Goff's after that, but he's not going to be able to stop it. 200 comes up for Australia, and we're only in the 39th over. Yes, yeah, a beautiful shot there. That, that's where they've heard. They, they bang him in short, and then when they've tried to pitch it up, they've just got it wrong. And Steve has just made this a half volley. Just a little bit on the rise there, but you can see how far he's gone back to that one. Then crunches forward. Didn't deter him from coming down the track next ball and uh, clipping that through mid-wicket. That is a classy way to go through to a half-century. Been a marvellous little innings from uh, Steve Waugh this morning. 53 from 71 balls. Bold, thrown up outside the off stump. Took a chance. Well, so does Steve Waugh. He's got four runs to his name. Well, I just call this asking the question. Spin ball, he throws the ball outside off stump. Do you want to play? Yes, I do, Stephen Waugh says. Crunches the ball through the offside. Big stride. Helps himself to four through cover. Well, that's well placed. Beautifully placed, actually, with a man out there trying to prevent the boundary. Not a problem. Absolutely no chance of cutting that off. He's hit it backward to a point, which is, well, I suppose a little bit harder to get so much power on it, but he gets on his bike there, but he's got no chance of cutting it off. I think that's Atherton out there. No chance of cutting that off. It's just raced away. Charles, frankly, with himself, giving Steve Waugh a little bit of room. It's flicked away off his pads. Steve Waugh collects the boundary that takes him through to his 26th Test Match 100. His eighth against England. And I suspect he will uh, say that none is more important than this one. In this first Ashes Test, it establishes a benchmark. It's been a marvellous knock. 
Stephen Wall at the crease. Stephen Wall scores 100. Very important century for his team. As Paul Allett says, in the context of an Ashes series, skipper to lead from the front, score 100. Yes, Matthew Hayden himself might have failed in this test match, but his hero Stephen Waugh had done enough for this innings to qualify as Hayden's favourite innings by a teammate. Stephen Waugh's 102 of 135 deliveries was an innings full of grit and determination. While Adam Gilchrist was the top scorer with 133 in this innings, it was Stephen Waugh's 102 that left a lasting impression on Matthew Hayden. Time for yet another break here on Three's Company. When we come back, Matthew Hayden will introduce us to a favourite innings of his by an opposition player. <laughs> 